Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to Texas Farmstead Living. Today we are testing our dairy cows for eight diseases that we think are important to screen your dairy cow for because we drink raw milk. If you're interested in learning more about the eight diseases, please watch our video and read our blog post at texasfarmsteadliving.com. We test our cows twice a year in the months of May and October. It is October and our vet is coming to today to test our dairy cows. It is really important to us that we document our test results because we have been testing our dairy cows for many years and we do research in bovine disease. But you can take your own sample from your cow and send it to the lab yourself. So we thought on today's video, it would help you if our vet gave a tutorial on how to take a sample from your cow. The dairy cow is the most highly regarded animal on our farm. She gives far more than she takes. She provides the family with nutrient dense raw milk, butter, kefir, and cheese. Her health is reflected in the raw milk she produces, and your health is a reflection of what you eat. Our dairy cow's health is at the forefront of our thoughts and actions daily. We take a holistic approach in caring for our cows. They are not vaccinated, given antibiotics, parasite control, and their diet is very curated. Soon I will be sharing with you our dairy cow herb garden. We do our very best to honor God in how we manage our farm animals. Due to the current agriculture paradigm, we feel it is very important to know your family cow's history and health status. Several bovine diseases can pass to humans, so we recommend testing your family cow yearly. We strive to create a stress-free life for our dairy cows as much as possible. The least stressful way to test your cow is to have your vet come to your farm, or you can take the samples and send them directly to the lab. Or a method that we use quite often is we take the samples and we drop them off at our vet's office and we let them order the test and send them to the lab. The dairy cow is truly the queen of the farm. How many vials from each cow? I'm gonna do four of the red top and well actually four red top, one purple top, and then one smaller red top for the brucellosis. So mm -hmm. there'll be five vials for, for each. Can you get pregnancy out of one of those? Yes sir. Ones? Yes sir, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to want to do that and and I was gonna ask if y'all still want to do that the BVD on these as well. Uh, we can do a, an ELISA for the BVD on this on these samples here if you want to. Okay. Or we can take an ear notch, whichever you prefer. Usually you can kind of feel like two little ridges. And most of the time, if you get in between there, usually you're in the right spot. Sometimes you have to move it around a little bit. But. Right in between the vertebrae. Yes, sir. Third, second or third down? Second, third vertebrae down? Yeah, I mean, it's better to stay closer to the base of the tail. You, if you get out here, that vein gets smaller and, and uh, harder to hit. So that's about as high up as I like to go. And I try to save that in case I'm having trouble out here. And it's usually you can hit a little bit easier down there. I just try to save that. Especially when you have to get multiple tubes, sometimes you'll have to move it down a little bit. This vacu cell system you can probably find available from the vet. You need to buy one then. It's yeah, the common. The blood tubes have a vacuum on it so it helps to actively draw the blood out. There's a needle on the inside of that piece of plastic and just 
puncture the, the top of the tube on that needle and then it'll start suctioning the blood out. So we're going to test everything except for TB. And TB is an injection under the tail that you have to inject and then come back and read. In 72 hours. And that is the only sure way to test for TB. Is that right? For private practitioners, yes. We, we do the, it's called the caudal fold test where we inject the tuberculin in the caudal fold and then feel for a reaction. If it gets a knot there after, the, after we inject the tuberculin, uh, then we have to call out a, one of the state vets to, to come and look at it, and they do a, a different test. But for private practitioners, that's the, the one that we're allowed to do. Okay. We're gonna run brucellosis, yonis, VOV, BVD, Q fever, Q fever and and leptospirosis. mother and yeah, she's getting her test okay right here he's raising the tail and he's looking for the two ridges uh, right two there ridges right there I got a close up. Here. you got it already okay he's using the vacu seal system so he can just uh, put the needle in once and use the vials well Fill up multiple vials. <laughs> one vial. <laughs> Two. We're doing a lot of tests. Look back on our video about the eight diseases we test for and we're testing for all of them except for TB today. This system's most comfortable for the cow because you would have to inject repeatedly to get, I guess, five times, right? To get five vials? Right, yeah. The syringe is, it'll only fill up about one vial. These uh, samples are headed to Texas A&M Diagnostic Lab. Is that right? What that's it's called? that's correct. That's correct. And we like our vet to do the test because we important for us that everything is done professionally and documented because we've been doing research for many many years. The cows are actually very calm. They <laughs> I think are. They're, used to they're it. taking it pretty well. <laughs> It's really great when you have a vet that knows everything about dairy bovine disease. <laughs> so you know to be careful. I can show you one with the syringe and needle here okay. too. So if you don't have the vacuum tainer, it's very similar. Just take the that one's one to bleed a little bit. It may be nice for it to have a an extra person holds the tail so you can got two hands to Okay, so if you don't have the vacuum painter system, you just have a syringe. This is what you would do. And you're putting it Wow, that's fast. Yeah, it's the those tubes have a, a vacuum in there to suction that blood out just like it would from the tail, so it just kinda sucks it out of the syringe there. Very fast. The cows are not even phased. <laughs> okay, so these tubes, where do they go now? Do they go to refrigeration? They will go to refrigeration overnight, and then they'll be shipped uh, to the lab tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. So if you're doing this at home, you need to get those files in the refrigerator, and then send overnight, probably with a with a pack. With on ice packs. That's okay. correct. Okay. That's correct. Thank
through the rapid spread of bovine disease, I highly encourage you to test your family milk cow yearly. Your family milk cow may appear perfectly healthy, but may carry bovine disease that can transfer to humans. The most cost-effective way to test your dairy cow is to take your own sample and deliver it directly to the lab. And I hope this video showed you just how to do that. I hope you will subscribe to our channel for more content about family milk cows. And I hope you will experience the joy a family milk cow can bring to your farm. From our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you, have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.